What's up people of YouTube and welcome. Welcome to yet another channel update for March 2020. I know I skipped a month. Uh, I just been busy, gave myself an extra month to get things done. Ele elevated once again at my job to another manager position, pretty much just to make a long story short. Now, uh, within a week or so, I'll be, well, I'm official right now, but for everybody to be official, official, um, I'll be an hourly assistant manager. Uh, I was a support manager. And then I moved to Cap2 Supervisor, which right now I'm in charge of making sure the offload of the trucks goes smoothly, make sure the people on the floor is working correctly and doing everything with process and everything as far as the way Walmart structures everything and just getting everything done. So that's my job and responsibilities. My store in particularly is the first store that's starting with as far as changing the whole structure of which they run, in which we run the store. You know, it's not gonna be that many managers running the store uh, anymore. It's gonna be a high, cause my store is already busy as it is. So it's gonna be a high functioning store. So if you're not a high functioning manager, a high functioning employee, then you're out of here, you know, uh, for the most part. The store is really looking for like people that's really snappy, people that's really on it, that really care about getting the job done. Not, not just clocking in and just like whatever. The main thing for me, that they have that they want me to do is get people to work like me i'm the best worker at my job just to put it straight forward and i'm the best worker at any job i've ever had and it's, it's gonna always be like that because that's my mentality like that i can't see nobody working better than me that i just it's impossible in my opinion in my eyes and that's the reason why i'm a manager that's one of the reasons why and another reason why is because i told a few managers off because they didn't do their job correctly and the way i went off on them and the way i used my tone in a way that i had people like whoa like damn okay like they like that you know they didn't like it in that moment but they like it like because after i got done stressing my point you know what i'm saying yeah i was upset but i stressed my point y'all listen so now i'm happy again now i'm back to work taking care of business i'm like damn okay he know how to be authoritized and then go back to work, act like ain't nothing happened, smiling and laughing and stuff and being nice to customers. Oh yeah, we need that as a manager. So it'd be my fourth time going and training, you know, at Walmart, you know, doing the academy training, you know, building me up as a manager. You see, I got notes from all the other trainings I went to and stuff like that. Cause you go there for a whole week, you know what I'm saying? That's how fast I move. That's how fast I learn. Like I don't got time to be slowing down. Can't nobody, I even told managers to their face, like, in the office like it don't matter what goes on like i don't care what y'all saying like can't nothing slow me down you know if something happens to where i don't work here no more i get fired so what i mean like the way my spiritual being is gonna make sure i'm taken care of regardless like like all i gotta do is go with the flow all i gotta do is look at you know keep my mind open so youtube what's going on with youtube um i know you guys haven't been really seeing too much of a different uh too much of What's the word I'm looking for? Variety of different of I say vehicles, because that's what I've been working on a lot, my damn vehicle. But uh, nah, but a lot of different var variety of videos. At the beginning of the year, I always pump out like a lot of videos, like the first week of the year, and that's pretty much what I did. I put up a lot of videos and just been working a lot, you know, with my creativity and stuff. And I got a lot of things coming. Like for example, I got a, a new DIY vlog coming. You guys been seeing it. I'm gonna show this in a second. I got a new project I'm about to work on, but you guys been seeing the DIY vlogs. And basically, if you guys, some a handful of you, if you first seen the first DIY vlog I put up, the first two, they were actually called daily vlogs. That's because I was bringing my daily vlogs back. But then in the, in the beginning of the year, because the first day of the year, that's when I actually copped the BMW X3, you know, from a partner that I've been working with. And, um... <clears throat> I was working on it like each day I was going outside and each day I was like, you know, working on it and like watching YouTube videos, figuring out fixes and stuff for different issues it had with three codes. Now I got it all the way down to one code and um, cause I fixed two of the codes myself and then got the transmission somewhat fixed, like 90% fixed by the shop. Either they did a poor job or the transmission isn't that good. I feel like it's a mixture of both, you know, so um, it's a, it was a used transmission. So, but you know, it, was, it works. So, you know, I'll let you guys watch the vlogs to see what leads up. I, I got a lot of episodes, DIY vlogs from my BMW X3 filmed already. Um, I got one ready to be uploaded, but I wanted to make sure I put up a different video, a, a channel update first, to let you guys know what's going on, catch you guys up on speed and stuff with me and everything. Like any other YouTuber that does do YouTube videos, you already know what it is. You know how much time it takes. You know you gotta film and edit all day and take you know, time out. It's still like a regular ass job. It's nothing different except for it's at your house. You can take a break when you want to. You're not under nobody else's authority. And it's fun. You're entertaining people. You're having connections with fans. You're having connections with people that 
share the same interests and share the same struggles and situations and downfalls and insecurities anything that you share some people may share the same thing and subscribe to you and y'all share this whole little community together that's what's cool about being on youtube or any social site that's done right you know what i'm saying when it start to get all stupid and stuff then that's when you know like youtube got stupid for a little while changing different things facebook got stupid for a little while you know just stuff like that but when everything's going structured real well and you got a nice little community built up around you know whatever you're talking about and whatever you're doing you know what i'm saying that's when it's cool so as far as videos coming up i still got more diy diy vlogs coming up to explain those a little bit more further they won't be only consisted of my vehicle there'd be uh other things too that's why i have them uh numbered you know so for example i got one coming up doing my son's nintendo switch that i got him for christmas uh wrapping that inside carbon fiber he came up with the idea of that while i was doing the car interior stuff he came up with that idea i came up with the idea of making it into a video so i'm like okay that might be a cool ass video and stuff like a carbon fiber nintendo switch i never seen that before these shoes right here i got these shoes these are rockerwear shoes got these for nine dollars you know what i'm saying eight dollars 99 cent on clearance you know and what i'm gonna do is I got some black shoe paint and I'm gonna paint these with this uh, black shoe paint inside here well, I'm not gonna open it up yet y'all gotta watch the video I'm giving y'all too much you know what I'm saying I gotta that's how you make people watch your stuff you know can't be giving them too much inside the video but anyways the reason why I got those shoes and the reason why it's such a good deal not only because they're nine dollars in name brand you know what I'm saying but because that's the only pair of shoes I ever found that match this shirt perfectly when I say perfectly I mean tell me this don't match you know what I'm saying? Like, it's hard to find anything that matches this, this color. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, and when I wear my button-up shirts, I don't ever wear the cuff down. I always wear the cuff folded up. Don't be taking my, man, people be stealing my styles ever since high school. Like, every time I be doing something, especially with my shoelaces, I used to wear two shoelaces inside all my shoes. And the way I used to put them in, if I was doing that nowadays, I probably be, I probably might end up coming up with some way, another way to make some money. Or whatever but anyways but uh yeah so this got black stitching when you fold the cuff up like that it's the reason why i bring this up it's because when i wear my cuff like this it has black underneath on this shirt so i'm like okay that's cool you know so boom got the black right there got the black going down right here black stitching so guess what i'm gonna do to this put some black up on here and if you see from this shoe i have black little markings from with a permanent marker i put on certain parts of the shoe that i'm gonna paint black so i can't wait for this video so this is another diy episode coming so for this diy video it's gonna be probably diy vlog number nine or something and then for this particular uh project i'm doing it's gonna be part one so diy vlog nine part one for this particular project my car i'm still working on it so that's gonna be i'm on part i think well if i count the videos on my phone i got i'm up to like part 10 or something like that so just to let you guys know where I'm now, now you guys get to see where I'm going with it. So you see why why I'm labeling the uh, titles of my video certain type of ways. Then I got all oh, my jeans right there sitting. If I pan the camera around, I got like five or six pair of my jeans. I'm putting some some more creases inside like I did before on one of my projects I did on YouTube uh, using the sewing machine uh, and doing my little you know doing more creativity things I do. And that's gonna be another thing I uh, I'm gonna open up another website and sell and do custom jeans for people they're gonna send me in jeans i'm gonna custom sew them and stuff like that so sewing the uh, creases and everything and you know i'm a, that's gonna be another avenue of me making you know some moves so uh and i have not forgot about snack time me and my son are still trying to structure around that and get that squared away and get that going again for this year i just want to say yeah I man, i've just been busy lately um Dealing with my vehicle, trying to get that squared away and stuff and sell the old one, the other one, should I say. My son got a lot of clothes, got him some stuff, you know, let him go ahead and me and him went out. And he finally at the age where he can go out and just choose his own stuff, you know, and I gave him a little budget. We stopped at like four or five different stores. And we got some nice stuff too, you know, got some real, got a lot of compliments on some stuff that we got. So, uh, but with that being said, people of YouTube, it's been a long channel update simply because I haven't put one up the prior month, but I would not be skipping any more months. And um, yeah, I'll be trying to pump out more videos. Uh, I still gotta get a lens for my C100. That's why you still see me filming with my uh, iPhone because the only one, only lens I have for myself is my 70 to 200 lens. I sold my Sigma, uh, was it 14 to 35 uh, f1.8 uh, lens. It's crazy. I I had that lens for a whole year and 
didn't do no music videos with it. Like that shit is crazy. So with that being said, people on YouTube is me, your boy Emily on the films. And I will be picking up another lens. It will not be the Sigma again. I spent 700 and something dollars on that lens just to not do shit with it, except for my own little videos I did. I did a few little things with it. I was trying to done a little bit more movie shorts with it, but at the, at the same time, I just got so busy with this position and stuff. And um, I'll talk more to you guys in detail in my next channel update about my new position that I'm working. But um, this channel update getting too long, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it out right now. So with that being said, I'm out of here. Peace.